Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Connor McClure. I am a physical therapist here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. And in today's video, I'd like to discuss some common myths and claims surrounding resistance training for our youth population. Now, depending on the paper you read, only 30, 40, maybe 50% of children are meeting the resistance training physical activity guidelines. Uh, in a previous video, I outlined what these were. Um, 60 minutes, three days a week is what we're shooting for. And I think many of these myths and assumptions around resistance training might be what's holding us back from meeting these guidelines. So let's get right to it. Myth number one, I think we may have all heard this at some point before, resistance training will stunt your child's growth. Now, I've looked into this many times over the years and I cannot find scientific evidence to support this claim and I'm not sure where it came from. To put it more strongly, the American Academy of Pediatrics put out a position statement on this topic back in 2008 and they stated that appropriately designed and supervised strength training programs have no apparent adverse effect on linear growth or the growth plates. I think it's time to put this myth to rest right away. Myth number two, resistance training will make you big, muscular, and bulky. Now, the first thing I would say is, what's wrong with being big, muscular, and bulky? The truth is, in pre-adolescence, resistance training will enhance strength through other mechanisms besides muscular hypertrophy or growth. Uh, these are mostly neurological mechanisms, helping you develop more uh, motor neuron firing when you contract a muscle, as well as uh, developing skill and coordination and balance. Uh, if you want to get big, strong, and jacked, resistance training is how you would accomplish that goal. However, it's not gonna happen overnight, and you should not be afraid that resistance training will have your child waking up tomorrow morning looking like Arnold. Myth number three. Resistance training will result in injury. Now, this is partially true uh, in the idea that most physical activity could result in injury. Injury has a number of factors associated with it, including supervision and technique, among other things. Uh, the aforementioned position statement from the AAP uh, strongly stated that the injury rates in resistance training are actually much lower than those in other sports as well as those in general recess play at school. Uh, most injuries in resistance training tend to occur with unsafe behavior and in unsupervised settings. So it's not that resistance training is by itself inherently dangerous, it's rather more how it's conducted. And the final myth I'd like to talk about is that resistance training isn't as important as aerobic training, uh, or cardio, if you will. Now, this topic should probably be approached with some nuance. I think both resistance training and aerobic training have unique benefits, and both are important for overall health and fitness. Um, aerobic training is touted strongly for its cardiorespiratory benefits, and its role in weight management, among other things. But resistance training has its own effects that you aren't going to get elsewhere, uh, such as improving muscular strength and endurance, uh, improving balance and coordination in different activities, enhancing sports performance, boosting your metabolism, and even improving bone health and mental health. I don't think the question is one or the other here. The physical activity guidelines recommend a combination of aerobic resistance and bone strengthening activities. Aerobic should certainly make up the large majority of your training. However, resistance training three days a week is something that should be strongly considered as well. So I hope that this discussion has helped bring about some clarity surrounding resistance training and its appropriateness for our children. Um, resistance training is not something that should be feared. It is something that should be encouraged and included 
as part of a comprehensive health promoting uh, physical fitness developing lifestyle. If you have more questions, please leave a comment down below or reach out. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I will be making more videos in the future to expand on this topic even further. So keep an eye out. Thanks, y'all.